So, New York Jets rookie wide receiver Denzel Mims continues to run his mouth on the city of Philadelphia. Denzel Mims called the city of Philadelphia a, quote, dirty-ass, trash-ass city. <laughs> Serious? <sighs> Denzel Mams, you just don't know when to keep your mouth shut, do you? You just don't know when to shut the hell up, do you? So, I don't know what the hell it is with this dude, man, but he just continues to go on and on and on. Trash the city of Philadelphia. Trash the, um, you know, the, the people of Philadelphia. Here's a little bit more of what Denzel Mims had to say. He said that we went up there and just spent a lot of time together, and the experience I had, I was very scared. I wasn't familiar with the whole city, and there was a lot going on. You see a lot of people that look scary, and you know I'm not part. I'm not part of that. I don't like that. I mean, I had a bad experience. You could say, you could say going up there that first time, but I feel like if I if I go there more, and if I get familiar with it, I'll have a great time. He also said that, quote, like I said, quote, I didn't like that dirty ass, trash ass city. <laughs> oh man. You know, it's funny that he says this now because when the Eagles were looking at Denzel Mims, because you guys remember the Eagles um, had him on their radar of, of um, players they were looking at. It just, it's funny how his tune changed so quickly. He now calls Philadelphia a dirty-ass, trash-ass city. But here's what he had to say when the Eagles were scouting him. He said that I could see myself being in Philadelphia. I've only been there one time, and I really didn't, I really didn't do too much. Because I was familiar, because I wasn't familiar with the city, so before the Eagles passed on him in the draft, you no, know, he he said that he could see himself in Philadelphia. He could see himself playing in Philadelphia. But after the Eagles passed on him and um, drafted, of course, Jalen Rieger in the uh, first round and passed on him again in the second round, now his tune changes. Now he just completely trashes the city of Philadelphia, completely trashed the people of Philadelphia. So. It's it's just very hilarious how people tunes change once um that you no know, once that team decides to pass on them. Um, Denzel Mims is kind of, in, in my analogy, this Denzel Mims is kind of that ex girlfriend that you know you were in a relationship with, and she can't get over the breakup. Really, actually, let me change it because we were never really in a relationship with Denzel Mims. It was more of a I guess you would say soft dating, trying to feel trying to see how things will go before you go any further with the relationship so it was kind of like dating um and and it, it, it's like that potential date whatever the person that you are that you're exploring you know the possibility of dating with you know you, you go out you, you go out once or twice with this person and then you choose someone better for you and that person can't get over it and they're bitter and butthurt and we obviously chose Jalen Rieger in the first round over Denzel Mims and we pass on Denzel Mims again in the second round Denzel Mims, of course, got drafted by New York, um, the New York Jets. Uh, he got drafted by the New York Jets in that draft. Boy, I tell you, man, what it sounds to me is like Denzel Mims is a little bitch. That's what it sounds to me like. He would not have been built for the mindset, the mentality of uh, what Philadelphia is based on. He he would not have he would not have cut it in Philadelphia. He would have been another Nelson Aguilar that um, soft as hell. Can't deal with with fan criticism. He would have been cry, he would have been crying like a little bitch and on on his way out of the city. So to think that I actually wanted this clown on our team at one point, like I, I made a video on this clown. Like um, this off season, I you know I didn't do a whole lot of videos this off season on the draft. Um, I did one on Denzel Mims though, and I told you guys how I wanted this guy on our team. To think at one point I wanted this clown on our team. Thank God, <laughs> thank God that. Harry Roseman did not draft this this clown. Thank freaking God because it's all about character. It's all about uh, fitting the culture of the city and the, and the um and the team. And Denzel Mims is a little bitch. He's not cut out for it. You no, know, he just shows with the weight with his talking, with his bitterness, with his butt hurtness, that he was not cut out for it. 
So he sits here and, and he talks about the city of Philadelphia. He talks about the the, the 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 people of Philadelphia. You know, when he was saying before, prior, before you know we drafted, that he couldn't see himself playing in Philadelphia. So to me, he just seems so soft. Seemed like he just couldn't cut. He would not have been able to cut in Philadelphia. I wanted him on our team at one point. I wanted the Eagles to draft him. But now, looking at it now, high freaking Louia. Thank God that the Eagles pass on this clown twice good luck over there in new york with the jets um don't expect you to be winning much of anything over there <laughs> because the jets are you know, i'm sorry just call it like it is man the jets are still quite a bit of ways away from being a serious contender especially with that idiot head coach they got over there in um, adam gates so good luck to you over there with the new york jets um denzel mims whatever you know i don't really expect you to do much winning over there whatsoever and Jalen Rieger, man, glad we draft this kid, man. Can't wait to see what he does on the field. You know, he, uh, his 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 uh, work ethic, you know, the way his work ethic, man, wanting to get better, working out with Carson Wentz, definitely seems to fit what we like to do in Philadelphia. So, this that Mims, like I said, man, I, I would compare him to being that ex-girlfriend that can't get over a breakup, a breakup, but we were never really in a relationship with him. It was more just, you know, Getting the feel of him, you know, getting the feel of, um, you know, where this could go. And obviously it went nowhere. And now to me, it seems like Denzel Mims is butthurt. He thought that, um, he thought that, um, the Eagles were going to draft him. He, you know, he thought that he was going to be drafted, you know, in the first round by the Eagles. Eagles pass on him. He slips to the second round. Eagles pass on him again. So to me, he just sounds so bitter, so butthurt, so salty that the Eagles, um, decide to go with Jalen Rieger instead. So, yeah, man. When I when I when I read that shit, man, I'm like, this this dude just continues to just run his mouth on and on and on and on and on. And he and he's very very lucky that the Eagles don't play the um, New York Jets this year because whenever we do play the Jets again, which is every four years on average, so that means you know the next time we play the New York Jets will be three years from now. No, he's gonna have a target on his back. Plain and simple, you know, he's gonna have a, a huge target on his back. You know, cause. No, you sit here, you trash the city of Philadelphia, you trash the um, the fan base of the Eagles, you trash the people of Philadelphia. Yeah, we don't forget that shit, partner. We do not forget that shit. So at some point, we will have a, our, our uh, encounter on the field, and we will remember exactly what you said about the Philadelphia Eagles organization, what you said about the city, what you said about the people. We will remember that shit. So you don't play us this year, but there will be a meeting at some point down the road. And I can't wait for that shit. I cannot wait for that. You know, you you definitely were not, or were definitely not cut out to make it to Philadelphia. And thank God the Eagles decided to go elsewhere. You know, they decided to look elsewhere in the draft, and they drafted Jalen Rieger instead of you. you no, know, you just show by you just show by your comments here that you're very immature. You're not you're not ready for the spotlight, little kid. You have not done a damn thing in the NFL yet. You have not played a single down in the NFL yet. But yet you're running your mouth. Yet you're. You're sitting here and you're putting down the entire city and, and entire um, people, you know, the people of Philadelphia. Not, you have not done a damn thing to earn the right to talk any type of smack right now. Get on that field, play football. Go out there, play football, then you can talk. You are not, you have not accomplished a damn thing in the NFL yet, Denzel Mims. Not a damn thing. And like I said earlier, good luck with the New York Jets. <laughs> I don't expect a whole lot of winning for you up there in New York. None whatsoever, really. And let's be honest, New York City, the New York, East Waterford, New Jersey, I guess I really should say, that that is no picnic whatsoever either. That's no great city either, man. So, you know, you, you sit here and you talk about Philadelphia as if East Rutherford, New Jersey is really anything special. Philadelphia is the, is the, birth, is the birthplace of America. The Declaration of Constitution was signed in Philadelphia Philadelphia was the first capital of the United States. So much history in, in, in uh, Philadelphia. Like I said, the birthplace of America. Put some respect on this city. Put some respect on the people. Put some respect on this organization. Stop being a salty bitch because, you know, you, you were not drafted by us. Really, that's what I think it is. Really, I really do think it is that he's mad. He's salty. He thought that he was going to be drafted by the Eagles. And I think he's just so hurt that the Eagles decided to go elsewhere. They decided to look, look elsewhere and draft... Um, you know, Jalen Rieger, and then, of course, the pass on him again in the second round. So when it comes down to it, that's ultimately what I believe. You know, he wanted to come to the Philadelphia Eagles. We said no. You know, we, we tried dating for a little bit, and it didn't work out. 
it didn't work out, so we moved the hell on. And I think he was he was so salty and bitter about it. And now that's why he's coming out here and saying all this crap about the city of Philadelphia, saying all this crap about the you no know, the, the people of Philadelphia. He's a salty, butthurt, immature little baby. And that kind of shit we don't we don't tolerate Philadelphia. You know, we only want men on this team. We don't want little little boys on this team. And that's exactly what you are, Dennis and Mams. You are a little boy. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait until we play in New York Jets again. You know, um, we, we were scheduled to play them in the preseason, but obviously with the whole coronavirus and stuff, you know, that, that game was um that game was um canceled, of course. Um we played them every every four years on average. Uh, we played them last year, so the the, the next scheduled meeting or uh, regular season meeting, of course, will be um, 2023. And like I said, we don't forget shit. The city of Philadelphia don't forget shit. The the fans don't forget shit. The people of Philadelphia in general don't forget shit. We will remember you, and we will have that New York Jets game marked down on our calendar when we when we play you again. When, when we play New York Jets again, so. Good luck to you up there in New York. Like I said, you're going to need it. <laughs> you're going to need it with the New York Jets because they are quite a bit away away from uh, being a serious contender. No, 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 Shout out to my man, Gang Green David, New York Jets YouTuber. Shout out to him, man. You know, no, I don't really hate the, I don't hate the New York Jets. It's, it's Denzel Mims I can't stand. And like I said, you know, I don't see much winning going on in his career, especially when, if, as long as he's with the New York Jets. But anyway, man, you guys let me know, let me know what you think in the comment section about um, Dizzy and Mel's comments on the city of Philadelphia. I, I look forward to read what you guys got to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Spunky Nights nice, and I want is out of here. Fly go fly. Peace. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, 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 no. Hell no, no. To the no no, to the no no, to the no 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 no, to the no no, to the no 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 no, to the no 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 no, no 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 to the no no, to the no 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 hell. That's all, folks.